I'm Frank Golding. I was a state ward from the age of two. My parents had uh, disagreements and my father took us to the welfare department. He was supposed to pay the welfare department um, a weekly sum. He failed to do that for four weeks. I was then charged with being a neglected child. Uh, my name's Nell Butler. I was kidnapped off the street in 1989. I was held by the man who kidnapped me for two weeks. After two weeks, the police came um, and I thought that they would help me, but instead of um, helping me, they charged me with being exposed to moral danger. They put me in a, actually a children's prison rather than a home. You know, almost all members of the stolen generation had criminal charges against them. That's, you know, that's disgusting. It's hard enough that they were torn out of their mother's arms because of racist policies. They were then given a life sentence by having a criminal record. So we brought this issue to the parliament last year. It came to our attention through the media, actually. And so we decided to bring it to the parliament as a motion uh, in the upper house, the Legislative Council, um, to try and repeal those criminal convictions and offer those victims an apology, a state apology. And, and um, in my view, compensation would be absolutely appropriate in this, in this situation. The job is only partly done. The legislation uh, reform doesn't touch the criminal records of the children who were charged with a criminal offence, very often quite petty kinds of offences, but they've stayed with them and sometimes used against children even today. And it's hard to understand the rationale for dealing with one set of the uh, records and not with the other. What it doesn't do is address the crimes that were committed. It's very clear that children are still at risk now from perpetrators who have never been investigated or prosecuted. But the state government, the, the Child Protection Department and the police agreed that these crimes had happened because that's why children were locked up for them. They just locked up the wrong person. It's a really good first step and I congratulate the government on that, but there's still a lot to do. The people who were subjected to this injustice are survivors of some of the worst sorts of child abuse. And so we'll fight for those people. We will advocate for those people and fight for them within the parliament until they get the sort of recompense that they deserve, that they will get um, the apology that they, they deserve, um, that, that their records are actually altered so that they are an accurate representation of what happened. This change is fundamental for, for healing and for these members of our community to be able to get on with their life.